Well, he served as a brigadier general for the U.S. Air Force, was twice decorated for heroism in combat against Iraq. You may remember him from all of our coverage as well with Thunder Over Louisville as our plane expert. Now the Kentucky native has a new gig, the executive director of the Henry Clay Center for Statesmanship. It is headquartered in Lexington. It is a center for students all across the country, educating really a new generation of leaders. Rob Givens joining me now to talk about his new gig. And first of all, thank you so much. Well, first, let me thank you for showing all those pictures of me as a young man. That's great. <laughs> well, and congratulations, yeah. first and foremost. Well, thank you. I'm very honored to have been selected for this. Uh, the Henry Clay Center for Statesmanship, it's been around for about 10 years. That was it, my other question. Okay, so it's been around for a while. It has, and it's uh, done in a partnership with Transylvania University and the University of Kentucky. Now, don't get me wrong, we'll be happy to work with the University of Louisville as well, but uh, the program's been around for 10 years, and we've got over 600 graduates currently, and our first uh, graduate that is actually running for federal office is a young man named uh, Ben Hansen from South, or North Dakota. So and he impressive. graduated in 08 from well, our program. Well, let's talk about how it works, and then we're going to get to Henry Clay, the namesake of it. These are for high school and college kids, so how do they make their way to you? So we go through a, a canvassing process to try and recruit students to come, and they do applications. The high school students, about half of them, come from Kentucky. We're looking for rising seniors. Uh, the Kentucky um, uh, teachers know about the program and we solicit input from them and then the other half come from surrounding states. The college program is much more involved. We take one student from every state in the nation and so every state's represented. They spend a week with us in Lexington then a week in Washington and this year we're going to start trying to put some into internships. They are nominated through academic programs, through teachers, through government officials but all their applications end up in the senior senator's office in Washington, D.C., we coordinate with them and then we select the one student. In intensive training with, with leaders, let's talk about the namesake of this Henry Clay, I mean, the great compromiser. So, I mean, that's part of it, right? It's about leadership? Absolutely. It's about training a new generation of leaders in the principles of statesmanship. Uh, Henry Clay was a great statesman, both domestically and internationally. A lot of people forget the fact that he was part of our negotiating team for the Treaty of Ghent, which ended the War of 1812. But he also worked in other countries and was a Secretary of State. In fact, the Henry Clay Dining Room is in the State Department today. Hmm. So we take those values, we try and help. Um, a lot of people today think the word compromise is a bad term, right? So. I don't think people well, would today. <laughs> well, so what we try and explain to people is we're not asking people not to be partisan, right. not to be very principled. But somewhere we got to meet sometime. But we have to meet in the middle. We have to find a way in which we, the things that we agree on, we go forward on. And the other things, we'll try and work on the margins of that. And that's what compromise really is. But we can also consider that cooperation and that identifying that core mission. And you'd be surprised at some of the things our scholars have have dealt with. They dealt with health care. They've dealt with uh, family issues. They have dealt with judicial issues and national security issues. And they come up with some amazingly insightful ways in which the two extremely partisan sides can cooperate. And then we take that information, we use it, we'll publish it, but we'll also give it to elected officials and hopefully they'll listen to what students come up with. A couple seconds left, but I agree with you that, you know, the compromise used to be a bad term, but in mm -hmm. this day and age, I think we need it now more than ever, and that's part of it. Absolutely. And so Henry Clay is famous for a quote, there's nothing wrong with America that can't be fixed by America. All right. And so that's kind of one of the things we press forward. I would encourage everyone to go to our website, www.henryclaycenter.org. Read about the organization, the mission, and of course, feel free to donate if you'd like as well, too. <laughs> and come by and see him at Lexington. Yeah. And again, we want to let you know more information about the Henry Clay Center for Statesmanship. The website, again, www.henryclaycenter.org. And congratulations, Rob. Thank you Thank so you. much.